The land down under has never been easier to reach. United Airlines has more flights between the U.S. and Australia than any other U.S. airline, so you can fly nonstop to destinations like Sydney, Melbourne, and Brisbane. Explore dazzling cities, savor the very best of Aussie cuisine, and get up close and personal with the wildlife. Who doesn't want to hold a koala? Go to united.com slash Australia to book your adventure. This episode is brought to you by FX's The Old Man. The hit show returns, starring Jeff Bridges and John Lithgow. The former CIA agent sets off on his most important mission to date, to recover his daughter after she's kidnapped. The stakes get higher and more secrets are uncovered. FX is the old man. Premier September 12th on FX. Stream on Hulu. This is Optimal Health Daily. How to have a healthy kitchen and how to get your heart rate up. Both by Shalene Johnson of shalenejohnson.com. And I'm Dr. Neil Malik. Hey there, happy Monday and welcome back to Optimal Health Daily where I act as your narrator of the best health and fitness blogs all for free. And always with a bit of my commentary at the end. Now don't forget, we have a bunch of shows where we cover a bunch of different topics. Just search for Optimal Living Daily in any podcast app to find them. All right, and with that, let's get right to today's two posts as we optimize your life. How to Have a Healthy Kitchen by Shalene Johnson of shalenejohnson.com Create a Healthy Pantry and Fridge Ever notice how the brand name sugary foods at the grocery store always seem to be staring you in the face, tempting you? Food marketers pay millions of dollars to place certain foods at eye level to increase sales. Today, we're going to take a lesson from grocery stores and rearrange your kitchen to entice you to make healthier choices. Just as grocery stores play into our impulses by displaying brand names at eye level, we too can play into our own impulses by arranging our kitchen in a way that encourages healthy eating. Redirecting traffic. When looking for something to eat out of habit, most people gravitate toward the pantry or cupboard instead of the refrigerator. This is probably due to the fact that most people's pantries have surprises and quick fixes, like carbs and crunchy stuff, while refrigerators often house food that require preparation. But think about it. Most foods stored in the pantry are processed. The fresh stuff is in the fridge. So let's create a healthy kitchen by redirecting traffic back to the refrigerator. Make your pantry boring. When arranging your shelves, continually stock up on the same items and put things where people know to look for them. When my kids open the pantry, they won't expect to see a surprise stash of cookies and chips. It's always the same stuff in the same place. Yes, it's boring, and I do it intentionally. If there were sweet surprises in the pantry, my family would go there first. Instead, I use this place to store emergency foods and redirect traffic to the refrigerator where there's fresher, healthier food. Arranging a healthy kitchen pantry. Even though we want to direct traffic to the refrigerator, we still need healthy options in the pantry for those times when we do eat from there. So, arrange the shelves in a way that creates healthier temptations. Here are some guidelines. 1. Healthier foods go at eye level and chest level, while the less healthy options go in the higher, hard-to-reach, need-a-step-stool places. 2. Repackage anything bought in bulk into individual serving sizes. Nothing stays in its original container. This helps you avoid mindless eating. And 3. Keep things organized and make the healthy stuff easy to grab. Some healthy pantry staples include packets of raw nuts, protein-rich cereals, oatmeal, high-quality protein bars, dried fruit, wasa crackers, protein powders, instant sugar-free cocoa, whole grain cereal, canned soups, canned beans, instant pre-cooked brown rice, and bags of plain microwave popcorn. Refrigerator rules. When looking into the refrigerator for something to eat, we have the same tendencies as we do when checking in the pantry we automatically choose whatever looks good and takes the least amount of time to prepare. So, think like a food marketer and arrange your fridge in a way that makes healthy choices a no-brainer. 1. Avoid the crisper drawer. You know the drawer where you store the healthy stuff like fresh produce? 
Often we put our produce in this drawer and it ends up rotting before we even remember it's there. Out of sight, out of mind. Make sure you're showcasing healthy food. Two, as soon as you unload your groceries, wash and display fruit and veggies in clear plastic containers and bowls and place them at eye level. Three, keep sources of lean protein readily available as well. Boil eggs, peel them, and store them in a plastic bag so you can easily dice up the egg whites. Prepackaged tuna packets are a great, easy source of lean protein too. And four, replace regular staples with healthier options. For instance, replace regular jam with sugar-free jam or blocks of cheese with individually packaged fat-free string cheese. How to Get Your Heart Rate Up by Shalene Johnson of shaleenjohnson.com Your heart rate seems off. Is it up? Down? You're not sure. It might be because you feel depressed, unmotivated, or sorry for yourself. You decide to take a chill day. The day of isolation turns into a week, a couple of months, and now a couple of years. It's trickled into your relationships. You've lost your energy to exercise. You don't care about your bills. You've lost sight of your goals. You don't even have any goals. You wake up each day and you're like, I really don't know what I'm working towards. That one chill day has become your life. Well, that ends today. You just have to make a decision to change it. Listen, I'm gonna get real with you. You've got to stop wallowing in it. You've got to stop focusing on it. Guess what? Burnout is normal. It happens. Let's try a little sense memory exercise. Relax. Get comfortable. Put your shoulders back. Take some deep breaths. I want you now to picture that you're in your car with your eyes closed, but after hearing this paragraph first. Look in the rearview mirror and see the police. The police are about to pull you over, right? And the sirens are going. You have no idea why, but there they are. Imagine this scene. Go. Now, I want you to think about any scenario where you would feel that same fight or flight response, that heightened awareness where you feel a bit of fear, a little of the unknown. Maybe even your cheeks have become a little flushed. You can really feel your heart racing. There's almost a nervousness. Guess what that energy is? Adrenaline, my friends. Adrenaline is the drug you need for motivation. It produces creativity. It makes us take physical action and oftentimes mental action. If you want to improve your life and get things done, you need to learn to call up that motivation and that enthusiasm on demand when you need it. That said, Hear me loud and clear. Exercise does that more effectively than anything else you can do. Put aside the weight loss. Forget about your pursuit of having a six-pack or fitting into a smaller pair of jeans. Exercise will give you truly life-changing things like more confidence, the ability to be super productive, getting you focused and alert, having a happier disposition, more patience, rationality, balance, motivation, and on and on. I have to force myself to stop listing more benefits. If there was a drug on the market that delivered all of those things, and one of the possible side effects could be that you looked really fantastic and you live longer and you could wear a smaller pair of jeans and you had strong abs, wouldn't you pay whatever it costs to take that drug? The answer is yes. So tell me, why aren't you taking that drug every day, hmm? I'm not saying you have to run a marathon, jump up and down, or do the most intense crawl through a tunnel workout. I'm just saying you need to get your heart rate up. I hope it's not you who loves to give me all the reasons why you can't exercise. And oh, these people find me everywhere. Facebook inbox, Snapchat chat, Instagram direct message, Whole Foods, on the plane, wherever. Epiphany, maybe I'm too easily reached. Anyway, these are some of the things I'll hear. But I've got this elbow thing. Or, I'm thinking about getting knee surgery. Or, I haven't been able to exercise since I did such and such to my hip. Are you kidding me? True story, I've met people with no legs who still find a way to exercise. Suck it up, buttercup. Enough with your excuses. How are you going to get your heart rate up today? Recall something provoking in your mind? Or move your body? You just listened to the posts titled, How to Have a Healthy Kitchen and How to Get Your Heart Rate Up, both by Shalene Johnson of shaleenjohnson.com. And I'll be right back with my commentary. When you're hiring, 
it feels amazing to finally close out a job search. But what if you could get rid of the search and just match? You can with Indeed. Indeed is your matching and hiring platform with over 350 million global monthly visitors and a matching engine that helps you find quality candidates fast. Ditch the busy work. Use Indeed for scheduling, screening, and messaging. 93% of employers agree Indeed delivers the highest quality matches compared to other job sites. One of the things I love about Indeed is that it filters out incompatible applicants. So when you're hiring, the process is much faster and you only have to consider applicants that are already likely to be a great fit. And listeners of this show will get a $75 sponsored job credit to get your jobs more visibility at indeed.com slash health. Just go to indeed.com slash health right now and support our show by saying you heard about Indeed on this podcast. Indeed.com slash health. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need Indeed. This episode is brought to you by FX's The Old Man. The hit show returns starring Jeff Bridges and John Lithgow. The former CIA agent sets off on his most important mission to date, to recover his daughter after she's kidnapped. The stakes get higher and more secrets are uncovered. FX is The Old Man. All new Thursdays on FX. Stream on Hulu. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. A while back on a different episode in my commentary, I talked about how when it comes to weight loss and weight management, watching calories is much more effective than trying to burn those same calories through exercise. I gave the example of how just by swapping a regular soda for, say, sparkling water could save 150 calories a day. But if we were to try and burn off 150 calories today by exercising, it would take most of us at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity walking. Now, what does this have to do with today's articles? Well, in Shalene's first post, she talked about having a healthy kitchen and gave suggestions about how to turn our homes into an environment where the healthy choice is the easy choice. For example, putting more nutritious items in plain sight and at eye level. So to save ourselves some unnecessary calories and to consume more nutritious foods, we can place something like, I don't know, sparkling water in plain sight in the fridge, maybe in front of the soda. This will automatically make it more likely we'll reach for the sparkling water first. And without much effort, 100 to 150 calories saved. And even if we just save 100 to 150 calories every other day, not every day, just every other day, we're still talking about pounds and pounds of weight loss. All right, that'll do it for today. I hope you have a great start to your week and I'll see you back here tomorrow as usual where your optimal life awaits.